The Greyhound is a breed of dog that was primarily bred for hunting and racing, making it the fastest dog in the world. Greyhounds can reach speeds of up to 72 kilometers per hour, 45 miles per hour, over short distances, thanks to their slender, aerodynamic bodies and powerful leg muscles. They can accelerate rapidly and reach top speeds in just a few strides, which is crucial when chasing prey. In dog racing, greyhounds dominate because of their speed and agility, making them one of the most efficient runners in the animal kingdom. Some spiders, such as ballooning spiders, Lanifidae, use a technique called ballooning to float through the air over long distances. They release long strands of silk, which catch the wind, allowing them to glide and travel distances from a few meters to even hundreds of kilometers. This method of travel is especially useful for young spiders, which leave the nest in search of new habitats. Spiders can rise several kilometers into the atmosphere, allowing them to survive in various, sometimes distant, ecosystems. Chameleons can change their color thanks to the presence of specialized skin cells called chromatophores, which contain various pigments. In response to external and internal stimuli, such as temperature, emotions, fear, aggression, stress, or the desire to attract a mate, chameleons can alter the structure of the chromatophores, affecting how light is reflected. Contrary to popular belief, chameleons don't always change color for camouflage. For instance, male chameleons may adopt brighter, more contrasting colors during competition with other males or while courting mates. Color changes also help regulate body temperature. Darker colors allow them to absorb heat better in cooler conditions, while lighter colors reflect sunlight, helping them avoid overheating. Sharks are equipped with a unique sensory organ called the ampullae of Lorenzini, which allows them to detect weak electric fields emitted by other animals. This organ consists of canals filled with a jelly-like substance, which open to the surface through pores on the shark's skin, mainly around the head and snout. Sharks use the sense to detect the muscle movements and heartbeats of potential prey, even if they are hidden under the sand or in dark waters. The sensitivity of the ampullae of Lorenzini is so high that some shark species can detect changes in electric fields as small as 5 nanovolts per centimeter, a sensitivity finer than the electrical activity of a single nerve cell. In 1947, just two years after World War II, scientists sent fruit flies into space aboard a V-2 rocket. The aim of this experiment was to study the effects of cosmic radiation on living organisms. Fruit flies, Drosophila melanogaster, were an ideal choice because of their simple genome and short life cycle, allowing for quick studies of genetic mutations. The rocket reached an altitude of over 100 kilometers, officially classifying the mission as a space flight. Upon returning to Earth, it was found that the flies survived the journey, providing scientists with the first data on how organisms react to the extreme conditions of space. Parrots, especially African gray parrots, Cetacus erythicus, are famous for their remarkable ability to mimic sounds. Unlike other birds that only learn specific songs, parrots can learn and reproduce a wide range of sounds. They can imitate human voices, but also the sounds of machines, phones, bells, and other technological noises. African greys have highly developed auditory memory and vocal abilities, allowing them to mimic surprisingly complex sounds. In domestic environments, parrots often mimic the sounds of everyday appliances, leading to amusing situations where a parrot might ring, like a mobile phone or imitate a microwave beep. Caterpillars, such as the peppered moth caterpillar, Bistun betularia, use camouflage to avoid predators like birds. They can disguise themselves as branches, leaves, or even twigs, making them difficult to spot in their natural environment. This adaptation involves not only changing the color of their bodies, but also their position. Caterpillars can freeze in a posture resembling a twig, bending their bodies at specific angles. This helps them blend into their surroundings, effectively fooling the vision of predators. This defense mechanism is called object mimicry, and evolution has favored caterpillars that excel at this survival strategy. Blue whales, Balanoptera musculus, the largest animals on Earth, are also known for their ability to produce low-frequency sounds commonly referred to as songs. 
These sounds have frequencies below 20 Hz, meaning they are infrasounds, too low to be heard by the human ear. These sound waves can travel through water for hundreds or even thousands of kilometers due to the efficient sound conduction in water. Whale songs serve various purposes, from long-distance communication with other whales to marking territory and attracting mates. These powerful sounds can even be recorded by underwater microphones placed on the ocean floor. Crabs and many other crustaceans, such as octopuses and squids, have blue blood due to the presence of hemocyanin, a protein responsible for oxygen transport. Unlike hemoglobin in human blood, which uses iron to bind oxygen, giving it a red color, hemocyanin contains copper, which gives the blood a bluish tint when oxygenated. Hemocyanin works most efficiently in cold, low-oxygen environments, such as the deep sea, making crabs and other marine creatures well-adapted to living in challenging conditions. Kiwi birds, which are native to New Zealand, have an exceptionally well-developed sense of smell, which is unusual among birds. While most birds rely primarily on vision, kiwis have nostrils located at the tip of their long beaks, allowing them to better detect scents. Kiwis search for food, such as worms, larvae, and insects, underground. Their well-developed sense of smell helps them locate food even when it is hidden beneath layers of soil or leaves. This unique adaptation to a nocturnal lifestyle and low-light environments makes kiwis stand out among birds. Alligators, like some other reptiles, swallow stones, a process called gastroliths. These stones act as ballast, helping alligators maintain balance underwater and dive to greater depths. Gastroliths aid in controlling buoyancy, allowing alligators to stay close to the riverbed or lake floor without constant swimming effort. Additionally, some studies suggest that the stones may also help in digestion, especially when alligators consume large chunks of meat or hard-textured food. Ostriches, the largest birds on Earth, have eyes that are bigger than their brains. An ostrich's eyes measure about 5 centimeters in diameter, making them the largest of any land animal. Their highly developed vision is crucial for survival in the open savannas, where they need to spot predators from far distances. However, the ostrich's skull is relatively small compared to its enormous eyes. This evolutionary adaptation highlights the importance of vision compared to other senses for these large birds, which do not fly but can run at speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour to escape predators. Dew droplets, which form when water vapor condenses on the surface of cooler objects, take on a spherical shape, allowing them to act like lenses. When light passes through these droplets, it is refracted and focused, making objects beneath them appear magnified. This effect can be observed especially on leaves or grass, where dew droplets magnify details like plant fibers or pollen grains. It is a natural optical phenomenon similar to what we see in optical lenses or magnifying glasses. Uranus, the seventh planet from the Sun, is so far away that its full orbit around the Sun takes 84 Earth years. Uranus travels in an orbit about 2.9 billion kilometers from the Sun, which makes its orbital speed much slower than Earth's. Interestingly, Uranus is also tilted at an angle of 98 degrees, meaning it practically lies on its side, causing extreme seasons that last over 20 years. While one day on Uranus lasts about 17 hours, a year lasts 84 years, meaning its seasonal cycles are far longer than those on Earth. In the deep oceans, where sunlight does not penetrate, many marine organisms have evolved the ability to produce bioluminescence, chemical light. Bioluminescence is common among deep-sea fish, jellyfish, squids, and microorganisms. This light is usually generated by chemical reactions occurring in specialized organs called photophores. Animals use bioluminescence for various purposes, such as attracting prey, e.g., anglerfish, communication, camouflage, or deterring predators. Bioluminescent light is typically blue or green because these colors travel best through water. Dolphins, like humans, chimpanzees, and elephants, are among the few animals that can recognize themselves in a mirror. The mirror test, which involves placing a mark on the animal's body and observing its reaction to its reflection, proves that dolphins possess self-awareness. In experiments, Dolphins often inspect their reflection and explore the mark on their body, showing that they understand they are looking at themselves.
This ability highlights the high intelligence of these animals who use self-awareness for social interactions and problem-solving. Octopuses, considered some of the most intelligent invertebrates, exhibit cognitive abilities that include learning through observation. Scientific studies have shown that octopuses can learn from other octopuses, for instance, by watching how another octopus opens a jar to access food. This ability to mimic and learn behaviors demonstrates a highly developed nervous system and problem-solving capability. Octopuses also display other advanced forms of intelligence, such as color changing for camouflage, using tools, and remembering their surroundings. The agave, often called the century plant, is a succulent that blooms only once in its lifetime, after which it dies. This process can take anywhere from 10 to even 30 years, depending on the species. The agave stores energy for many years, then produces a tall flowering stalk, often several meters high. After blooming, the plant enters senescence and gradually dies, but leaves offspring in the form of shoots or seeds. Other plants, such as bamboo, also have similar life cycles. Some species of bamboo bloom once every 50 to 100 years, followed by mass die-offs, which have dramatic consequences for the ecosystems they grow in. Scientists around the world, including those working on the ITER project, International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, are trying to replicate the process of nuclear fusion that occurs in the sun to create clean and virtually limitless energy. On the sun, fusion occurs under extreme conditions where hydrogen nuclei fuse to form helium, releasing enormous amounts of energy. In laboratories, Physicists are attempting to replicate this process using plasma heated to millions of degrees Celsius, which presents a technological challenge. Devices such as tokamaks are used to stabilize the plasma with strong magnetic fields. ITER aims to prove that nuclear fusion energy can be safe and sustainable without producing carbon emissions or radioactive waste like traditional nuclear reactors. In 2010, archaeologists in Zurich discovered a wooden door that dates back to around 300 BC, making it one of the oldest known doors in the world. The door was made from poplar wood and is in excellent condition, thanks to the moist soil conditions that prevented its decay. Archaeologists were amazed by the precision of its craftsmanship, especially considering it was made in the Neolithic era or the Stone Age. This discovery provides valuable insights into the building technology and daily life of people from that time.